In this video, I want to address that you are absolutely perfect. I want to address one of the biggest lies out there. One of the biggest myths is that you need changing, you need fixing, that you need to be better, you need to be deserving, good enough, worthy, that you need to convince yourself of these facts that are already within you. Even as a former psychotherapist, I want to tell you that you are perfect. Even all those years that I did with doing therapy with clients and diagnosing people, I saw through their illusion of what they thought was wrong with them. You are good enough. You are everything. And this video is something that I want you to return to when you doubt yourself, when you feel like you need to keep affirming that you need to prove your worth or you need to seek external validation from something or someone. I want this video to be just for you, for all of you who feel like there is something missing from you. This is for you. And if you don't need it, then this video is not for you. Then I'm so happy that you see who the truth of who you are. So welcome, my name is Rose, and welcome to The Rosy Life, where we help you free your mind and follow your heart so you live a life that you love. If you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me, you can go to rosylife.com, or you can join the Rosy Life course and community, which is growing and it's just so amazing. <laughs> with your live questions, I show up every Wednesday, and those are recorded for those of you who want to watch them later, or you want to watch them again and again, like many of you have already already done, uh, I show up live answering your questions. And there is 12 lessons in there that help you take your focus from external, which is no power, trying to get something outside of us, to helping you shift that focus within. Because it is new for many of you. For many of you, maybe this is not you. But may, for those of you who still feel like you're relying on the external world, right? you want to start looking within to what you desire, what you want, and remembering that you are the cause and the source of it all. So that's what that course and community does. So let's get to the video, right? I, I've done a, quite a few sessions this week and some of our existing clients and others are brand new clients that I'm working with. And one of the themes this week is a lot of heartache and pressure and frustration and, and almost like stress to feel like they need to keep up with their thoughts, keep up with their feelings and keep up with feeling like they're good enough and worthy and deserving and powerful and that they're having to try really hard to see themselves as something that deserves their desire, whether it's a person or a, a relationship or money or career or opportunities or whatever it is, right? That either there's so much heartache and so much misinformation that you need to change, that your self-concept needs to be on point that you need to convince yourself that you're this person. And that convincing and that trying is what I notice exhausts people and drains you because you're trying to convince yourself of something that you don't believe and something that you've never been taught and something that you're not familiar with. But you don't have to convince yourself what you are doing is identifying with who you are because the more that you identify who you are you don't have to try and convince yourself because you're coming you're kind of merging you, you, you thought you were separate right you thought that this is god or the i am of the universe and then here you are separate right and when you identify as that one i am that's what you're doing is you're merging my father and i are one right? My father and I are one. That's what you're doing. You're merging with it instead of trying to convince yourself that you're this. You're not doing that. You don't have to convince yourself that you're this. You're already this. You've just forgotten that you're separate, right? You forgot. You thought you were separate rather, and you're actually one. So these are some of the common uh, complaints or 
you know, a lot of just a, a lot of heartfelt struggle in what people have come to me saying that they've had to convince themselves that they're good enough or worthy and just this feeling of perfectionism that they have to keep up with and in order for them to have their desires and even after they have their desires, right? These are some of the things that they have to feel like they change, they have to change something about themselves, that there's something that they have to fix about themselves. And even some of you have written comments on the videos and in some of my previous videos saying that you're feeling like you have to fix something right and that you have to keep up with it that once you do change and fix yourself that you have to keep up with it right because if you don't keep up with it there's that fear of messing up fear of losing your manifestation fear of losing your desire or fear of of always for the rest of your life having to tell yourself that you're good enough you're smart enough you're pretty enough you're handsome enough you're sexy enough you're worthy enough you're whatever enough it's like that is an endless rabbit hole that you are not here on this earth to do right or that you're just not enough or that you're not deserving or that you're not worthy and and here are some examples of what that might look like if you're in this realm of struggling some examples if you feel like you're having to do some of this is you might feel like you're needing validation or acceptance or someone or you're needing or wanting it could be needing or wanting for validation or acceptance of something or someone right or of a job or to be recognized to be in the limelight to be at a girl at a boy's position that you need that or want that and forgiveness that you need someone to forgive you that you're earning their forgiveness by changing because of you think that you messed something up and now you have to fix it do you see or approval that you need to approval of someone to say that you've done it you've made it you've changed you're a good person now and that you're approved you have the stamp of approval and then now you can have what you want right or or to be chosen or loved by by someone right to be chosen or loved by anyone and in, instead right forgetting that none of this is necessary none of this right here is necessary you don't have to do anything you don't have to prove yourself to anyone you have been proven you have been chosen you have you are love you have everything right and and i love and and ask yourself this question right if you feel like you need or want validation or acceptance or forgiveness or approval or to be chosen or loved by a specific someone or by a career or job or position or even to have money right if why or else what if you're if they don't give you if they don't choose you if they don't say they love you if they don't say you're good if they don't say you've changed if they don't forgive you right or then what or else what What's gonna happen if they don't give that to you? What's gonna happen if you don't get the validation? What's gonna happen if that person doesn't choose you? What's gonna happen? You wanna ask yourself, or, what, or then what, or else what? What's gonna happen? Get really honest with yourself and ask yourself that question right now, or, or else what? What? Because that answer is, I guarantee you that that answer, or else what, right? Or that answer is always because you have fallen for the biggest lie that you're not perfect and whole and complete right now, that you have to fix yourself, change, forgive yourself, um, improve yourself, get over something or forgive someone, or you have to do some work to earn something. That it's all that answer. Ask yourself, what what is gonna happen if you don't have that? What is going to happen if you don't have that validation or that approval or that someone tells you you're good enough, you've, you've done a good job? What's going to happen if you don't get it? What's Because the only reason that you feel like you need it or want it is you feel like you need it or want it because you think something that's missing from you, that that's going to feel a hole. But here I can guarantee you that whatever you desire to manifest, you're gonna you'll get it and you'll and after a while, a minute, an hour, a day, a year, whatever, you're gonna still feel that lack. You're gonna still want that validation. You're gonna still want the approval. You're gonna still want and need to feel chosen and that you're perfect and that you're pretty or handsome and that you are the best in your job or that you are the most qualified. You're gonna forever be seeking it even after you get this. So you wanna nip this in the butt right now and ask yourself, well, if I don't get this, and then what? 
Wh what's going to happen? What is going to happen to me if I don't get this? Do you see? Because when you do that, you release the pressure, you release the importance, you release the resistance of feeling like you need it and want it because you remember that you what? Look, now here's the answer, okay? And I love this in Matthew 5, 48, and I've said this before. Ye therefore shall be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Again, ye therefore shall be perfect you are perfect when you were created you are perfect just as your heavenly father is perfect but let's let's figure out what this is because the key word here is obviously perfect in father what is father in metaphysically father means the absolute cause unlimited father represents the absolute power the absolute unlimited power the absolute the only cause the father of it all of all of it of everything and father implies the son that is you me all of us we are the son we are the chosen son that right the christ we are that son of god all of us we are the son of the father who is absolute perfect whole complete the cause the source of everything not nothing else is the source the father is the source well what is the son in metaphysical right is the living word you are the living word we are the living word right the um we are the living word so in other words it's the agency we you are the agency which god which god reveals himself okay so you are the agency which god reveals himself that's you so you this physical body you that chosen one that your father created are the vessel you are that agency that God reveals himself through. That's you. You, that's why it says, ye therefore shall be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. That's you. So you don't have to go around affirming or staying on top of your thoughts or keeping up with affirmations or keeping up with things. You don't have to be afraid that you're going to lose everything because you are the absolute cause you are the absolute perfection that is you you are one with your father that is who you are because it says there you are perfect just as your heavenly father is perfect that is who we are whole complete perfection you don't have to keep up with anything because remember we're just identifying that we are not separate that we are we are identifying remember that we are one with the father and that father is perfect and so are we so you don't have to be afraid of changing or getting someone's approval or having someone notice you that you've changed or you're different you don't have to have someone forgive you you don't have to do anything if you want to have those things you can but you don't have to you don't need those you don't have those are all conditions that you're setting upon yourself that are unnecessary because you were born perfect you are perfect and you will die perfect you will always be perfection that is all you are and everything else is a made-up story it's a made-up belief trying to chase a golden rabbit or the little carrot that doesn't even exist okay so i can tell you this right now that even if you've been diagnosed with some any mental health thing or whatever okay so you believed it and you're going to get treatment or you taking medication for it go ahead and keep doing that but I want you to now start implementing remember that you're not separate the more that you identify with your father with God who you are you will notice that all of those symptoms all of those diagnoses will begin to fade away they have to because who you are is divine you are divine i am and nothing else all right my loves i love you guys so much thank you so much for liking the video and thank you for subscribing to the rosy life and sharing my video with the world with other people with other channels or whatever i don't care thank you just for sharing and i really appreciate you guys so so much and the rosy life is growing because of all of you and your love and support and i truly appreciate you and i love making videos for you guys and i i can't wait to see you in the next one because you are all freaking perfect amazing all right bye